Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I want to give you a, a little bit of uh, demonstrations, um, a, a simple example on how you can use Node OSC add-on in Blender and make it talk to Sonic Pi. Okay, um, so Node OSC is actually quite a new add-on by the creator of Add OSC and MOM add-on. Okay, so Node OSC. OSC uh, what's new about this actually um, this not OSC actually works directly with animation nodes and Sorcar okay so let's take a look very quickly and this is just a simple example and by default if you search the once you install node OSC you can see there there are two new nodes for animation nodes OSC number and OSC list here I will be using just OSC number and I'm outputting a message outside from Blender. So I'm gonna make Blender talk to Sonic Pi. Okay, Sonic Pi is another app that generates music in real time. And this is the, the basic example that uh, comes with the app itself. Okay, this app, by the way, Sonic Pi is made by the creator, the developer is called, uh, his name is Sam Aaron. And yeah, he's been developing this app for a while now. It's a very cool app. Like I say, it's real time, kind of live uh, music generator. You, you, you made a little bit of code like this. So this uh, simple code, code actually just create a live loop that's it's gonna listen to whatever OSC message from the outside, you can use any other app, but I'm using Blender. You can use Python, you can use Touch OSC, and then as long as you send the right message, it's gonna play this sound, okay? So let's get started. Command, Command R to run the calls. Now it's actually listening. Command S to stop it. So Blender, let's take a look at Blender very quickly. Inside animation nodes, we have just three uh, value. It's a float list, and the value is to it's a it's a parameter for the nodes, the cutoff, and the sustain. Maybe by default the sustain is too high, but it, let's uh, run this anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, this is what's really important with OSC. The this is my local address, and then it's sending it to itself to port 4560 it's what sonic pi is actually listening to i know it because if you look at the preference io osc is yeah it's sending it to 4560 okay just let's run this start So just like just like that, like magic, you you can send message from Blender out to Sonic Pi. It's really cool, right? Uh, in fact, if we actually have an object here, like Suzanne, and we're gonna use object transform input from Suzanne, our object, and if we grab So you separate the vector. So let's animation nodes separate the vector locations and plug this into Susan Z. If we so let's zero this out and then lock it. So now position of Susan head. So this value will be the the note, the pitch, the note of the this prophet. Okay, so the prophet can actu actually can be a different sound, but for now uh, it's okay. Just leave it as it is. If I'm not wrong, you see. 
So you can use others like beep or etc. Let me just comment that. If I update this, so probably something happens that. So maybe it's uh, something happens that kind of halt the sound. Let's see. Um, oh, okay, I know. So from from Blender, from not OSC, uh, this we need to specify the actual message trigger profit. So if we want to change it to other things, we need to actually change that. So now if I stop this and rerun it so now it's working again cool so let's unplug this so certain value will create some kind of note sound right we don't have like a do re mi fa sol la si do yet but now we can actually use random for now random number just a single value plug it here let's make value between 60 and 120 it's actually quite loud so And if I use frame, plug into the scene, we can now just tap on the arrow key and control that. So with Suzanne, with Suzanne, uh, we can actually do the reverse thing, like controlling Suzanne head, controlling the position of Suzanne head using this value as the height so now Suzanne head will be uh, the position will be between 60 and 88 and as you know this is actually real time so I could actually um, record it so playback you can see playback is a uh, it's around 12 15 frame per second so it's it's pretty good let's try like 50 frames and try to bake this into keyframe so that's 50 frames of random music i'm gonna now stop um animation nodes from calculating so it's no longer sending message to Sonic Pi. Now we have just Suzanne animations. So if you look at it from Graph Editor, you should be able to see the keyframe. Key to feel a uh, few all there you go few all so that's Suzanne animations it's already recorded in real time and we can actually send this to drive sonic pi and then we can record the music so it's suddenly a uh, blender talks to sonic pi and generate music uh, of course blender also have uh, audio notes don't forget we, we actually have audio notes and that's also very powerful um, but this is just an example 
in general, you want to be able to control one app using another app and using OSC signal. Okay, so yeah, in the next video, I will talk about how we can send from Sonic Pi into Blender. The cool thing about Sonic Pi is that, of course, Sonic Pi can run real time loop. Something like so that's real time loop. Sonic Pi generating music, and I want to send the message into Blender, so it's controlling Susan head. So suddenly, from music into animations in real time. Okay, so that's for the next video. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.